going on everyone? I got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm discussing Creed 2. Creed 2 takes place a couple years after the original Creed and Adonis Creed is now the heavyweight champion of the world but Victor Drago, son of Ivan Drago, is kind of hiding in the light and is ready to tackle Adonis Creed headfirst to get that championship ripped away from him. Now of course Michael B. Jordan returns as Adonis Creed Tessa Thompson returns as his girlfriend, Sylvester Stallone returns as Rocky Balboa, and Dolph Lundgren returns as Ivan Drago with Florin Mutsun, I probably mispronounced that a ton, who's playing his son Victor Drago. Now, Creed, I think, is a masterpiece. I I'm not going to lie, I think it's the best film in the whole entire Rocky franchise. I think it's a masterpiece of its own. So you can say I was a little bit hyped for Creed 2, and a little bit hesitant too, because Stephen Cable Jr. is... Pretty much a new director to this world, and he has some big shoes to fill with Ryan Coogler, but I'm here to say that Creed 2 is not just a good sequel, it's a great sequel. I loved Creed 2. It's not as good as the original, I'll say that there, but might just be top four Rocky films of all time. Let, let's put it there. Uh, Stephen Cable Jr. does such a fantastic job directing this film, from the way that the fights are going on and the choreograph for those are excellent from that there's a couple shots in here that are just stunningly and stunning images that are just excellent like i mean it just bleeds out it's a beautiful looking film and something that i can even say i think this film looks even better than the original creed film don't get me wrong the original creed film had some awesome shots but this film is outstandingly beautiful. Michael Jr. also gets some fantastic performances from everyone. Michael B. Jordan is better than ever. I mean, when is this guy going to get nominated for something? This guy is always killing it in every single role that he's in, and he just nails it to the bone. You don't see Michael B. Jordan here. You see Adonis Creed. You see the pain. You see the emotional beats that you want him to see, and you feel them. That's something that this film does so well. And again, another thing that Cable Jr. does so great in here is make making you feel those emotional beats, but also making you feel the punches every single hit. You're gripping your thigh, you're gripping your fist, you're on the edge of your seat wanting to see what's going to happen next with every punch, every tear, every bone shattering thing that you feel. You feel it along with Adonis Creed and that's something that is just captured so well through the performances and the direction. But my God, Tessa Thompson, again, comes in as the girlfriend. You feel that emotional stuff with her. She's such a very underrated actress that no one is really talking about, but she's fantastic in here. Sylvester Stallone just has Rocky Balboa nailed like that. He is outstanding, and it is a crime that he did not win Best Supporting Actor that year at the Oscars for the first Creed. I don't think he'll get nominated this year for this one. He doesn't have as much to munch on to be honest like again i said earlier in the review this is more definitely of a creed film than a rocky movie where i felt like the first creed film was kind of a mix this is definitely more of a creed film and focusing more on his story rocky still has some stuff to do no doubt about it but he's not as entwined with the story as you would think he is still he does a great job. Man, I think one of the biggest surprises in this whole entire film is the Drago storyline. You really care and come to feel and care about each and every one of these characters in this storyline and, in a sense, for Victor Drago. You feel for Ivan as well because, you know, it never went into Drago and what happened after that Rocky fight. And 30 years later, well, you learn a lot about him and what's happened with him, his home country, and his family. And stuff hasn't been kind to him. And you see that stress getting put down onto his son. And it makes it for a very compelling antagonist that doesn't just make you care about your protagonist, but he also makes you care just as much about the antagonist. And I loved that they captured that within this film. Don't get me wrong, again, I think it's great. I don't think it's a masterpiece like the first one. I think some of the middling act is a little slow and could have been sped up a bit. There's a lot of exposition from the commentators that I don't think was needed for the story that I overall just really got from just watching the film. But again, those are gripes. Those are small nitpicks. I loved Creed 2. I think it's a great sequel to the original Creed. It's a great addition to this Rocky franchise. And with a story that could have easily turned cheesy, it's not. It's dramatic. It's emotional. It's powerful. And I have to say, if this is the last Creed film we ever got, I'd be fine with it. I think it ends the story perfectly for everyone. 
So with all that said, I'm gonna give Creed 2 an A minus. Really impressed with Creed 2. Again, I look out for whatever Cable Jr. does next. I'm certainly gonna be looking out for whatever this director does next. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Creed 2. Are you guys excited for this one? Were you a fan of the original? Are you a fan of the Rocky franchise? Let's talk about it down below, guys. Of course, you guys are also new here and you guys wanted to check out some movies early. Make sure to go hit up Sandwich on Films also down below because that's how you guys are gonna get into those Vance movie screens. You can also check out some movie news and even some movie reviews down there. But guys, of course, until next time, stay classy. We'll